not read aloud here, guys. Okay, we are on chapter five, if you remember correctly. We have been reading out of Junie B. Jones and the Stup Stupid Smelly Bus. This is the first book in the Junie B. Jones series. She's still in kindergarten, but the series goes up through, I think, third grade and beyond, possibly. So there's a lot of books we could read here. We won't get through all of those, but we'll at least get through first grade because that's what grade we're in. So, chapter five, principal. After we left the nurse, we went to the main office. That's where the boss of the school lives. His name is Principal. Principal is a baldy. He talked to us. Then Lucille raised her hand. My brother said that last year he had come down here and you yelled at him. And now he's not allowed to beat up kids at recess anymore. The principal kind of laughed. And then he told the, then he held the door for us to leave. After that, we walked to the water fountain and Mrs. let us get a drink. I didn't get a long, a long one though, because kids kept tapping on me. Hurry up, girl, they said. Yeah, only guess what? That's not even my name, I told them. Her name is Junie Bumblebee, said Lucille, and then she laughed, but I didn't think that was a very funny joke. After that, Mrs. showed us where the bathrooms were. There's two kinds of bathrooms in our school, a boy's kind and a girl's kind. I can't go in the boy's kind, though, because no girl's allowed, that's why. I tried to peek my head in there, but Mrs. snapped her fingers at me. The only boy who got to go into the bathroom was the boy I can beat up. He was jiggling around very much. Then he started running all over the place, and he was holding the front of his pants. William, said Mrs., are you having an emergency? Then William yelled, yes, and he ran right in there. The rest of us walked back to our room. I touched Lucille's fingernails. She said that her fingernail polish is named very, very, very. I would like to have my fingernails red, too, I said, but I'm, I'm only allowed to have the kind of polish that makes them look shiny. Its name is Clear. Clear is the color of spit. I don't like clear, said Lucille. Me too, I told her. And also, I don't like yellow, which is the color of the stupid smelly school bus. Lucille nodded her head. My brother said when you ride home on the bus, kids pour chocolate milk on your head. Then, all of a sudden, my stomach felt very queasy again. Because I had to ride the bus home, that's why. Why did you have to tell me that for, Lucille? I said kind of grouchy. After we got back to room nine, we did some more work. It was a game to help us learn each other's names. I learned Lucille and also a girl named Charlotte and another girl named Grace. Then I learned a boy named Ham, which we eat at Grandma Miller's. Pretty soon, Mrs. clapped her loud hands together. Okay, everyone, gather up your things. It's almost time for the bell. Then I heard a noise in the parking lot. It was screechy brakes. And so I looked out the window and I saw the school bus. It was coming to get me. Oh no, I said kind of loud. Now I'm going to go get chocolate milk poured on my head. Then I chew it on my fingernails. Get in line, get in line, said Mrs. When we get outside, I want all of my bus students to come with me. The rest of you must go to the crossing guard. Everyone was lining up and I was the very last one. Just then the bell rang and Mrs. marched out the door. Then everybody else marched out too. Except guess what? I didn't. And that is the end of chapter five. Chapter six is called A Good Hider.